Hi, my name is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Feed My People Joy. Today I'm going to try to quickly go over how to put on the whole armor of God. And we always want to do that by starting to look at the Word. So we're taking Ephesians 6 uh, and looking at that. And I like to take it and tear it apart and put it in outline form. I think it makes it easier to understand. So, here we go. Put on the whole armor of God. Okay, let's stop right there. And return that Y, that you would be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Okay. Why do we need to stand against the tricks of the devil? Because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and uh, against spiritual wickedness, wickedness in high places. Now remember, high places, heavenly places, is our place. It's not the devil's place. It's where the devil lives. Because he stole that dominion from man. So heavenly places is our place. We're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We get our wisdom in heavenly places. And we're to make known by the church to the principalities, powers, and wickedness in heavenly places what the will of God is, what he accomplished on the cross. So uh, right here we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Okay, I'm going to kind of just move all that out of the way. Make it easier. Okay, because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against uh, principalities, powers, and so on, we are to put on the whole armor of God. So there's the whole armor of God, and why do we put on the whole armor of God? That we can stand against the evil day, having done all to stand. Okay, and this is what we're supposed to put on. Okay. Having our loins girt about with truth. Okay, truth is number one. Second thing is the breastplate of righteousness. Next thing is preparation of the gospel of peace. Okay, let's pull this up here. This is what the whole word of God is truth, righteousness, peace. Okay, above all, take the shield of faith. Shield of faith. What can we do with the shield of faith? Uh, we can quench all fiery darts of the devil. Let's move that over there. And then take the helmet of salvation. The sword of the spirit. What about the sword of the spirit? It's the word of God. And what about the word of God? It's praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Okay. So, let's go over this really quick. So, the way that we're able to stand in the evil days, the way we're able to have victory over everything that the devil does is by putting on the whole armor of God. The first thing we put on is the belt of truth. The belt of truth holds up everything. If we don't know the truth of the word, then the devil is going to defeat us. So it's very important to get into the Word and to find out what the Word says. What did Jesus accomplish on the cross? And the best place to start for that is Isaiah 23. I mean Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53, yes. Okay, and then the breastplate of righteousness is very important. Uh, if we don't know we're righteous, if we think we earn our right standing with God by our behavior, we're always going to be looking at us and trying to always be good enough instead of looking at Jesus. We always look at Jesus, and Jesus made us righteous. And that's so, so important that we understand we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We get saved through the blood of Jesus. We stay saved through the blood of Jesus, not our obedience, not our right works, not our goodness, but through the blood of Jesus. Now, I'm not saying it's okay to sin, but I'm saying that Jesus' blood paid for all of our lifetime of sin. And our focus is not to be on sin, but to be on him what he's done for us his righteousness so uh, sin you know when you walk in the flesh you know you're so so you're, you're gonna get yourself in trouble so you don't want, you don't want to sin you you don't want to sin because you are the righteousness of God you're created in his image. Now let's go on to uh, hear uh, your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace the, gospel, the feet means you're always going somewhere. It also means it represents your authority and your dominion. 
And the gospel of peace is wherever you go, wherever you step, you have authority and dominion. This earth was given to you, and this, the devil stole it from you. So the gospel of peace is enforcing the defeat of the devil. The blood of Jesus paid for on uh, It's not a feeling of calmness. It is, uh, it is power, authority, and dominion, which brings you peace through Jesus and what he's accomplished. And then taking the shield of faith. Why do we need a shield? Why do we need faith as a shield? Faith quenches all the fiery darts of the enemy. Fiery darts. That sort of indicates to me that the shield of faith is made out of water. And we are made clean by the washing of the water of the word. The word is water. And uh, in the word it talks about uh, words being seeds. And that the, the word, our heart is the ground that the seeds go into. And the word waters the seed. So uh, water, you know, word, knowing the word stops the devil from harassing you. The helmet of salvation. Salvation means, uh, the word salvation in the original language means healing, uh, prosperity, peace, nothing missing, nothing broke, being whole, salvation. Jesus paid for it all on the cross. Um, and it, it's a battle in our head to know that, and that's why it's a helmet. The sword of the spirit, which which is our only actual weapon, the rest of the things here are armor to protect us. But the sword of the spirit is what we go after the devil with, which is the word of God. If you don't know the word of God, you can't have victory. You have to know the word of God. And the sword of the spirit is not only the word of God, but it's also praying with all prayers in the spirit. When you're praying in the Spirit and in tongues, you're praying God's perfect will because the Holy Spirit is praying through you. And the perfect will is the Word of God. So it's vital that you pray in the Spirit. And when you pray in the Spirit, you're praying God's perfect will. So there you have it. There is the whole armor of God. And you just learn what each piece means. And uh, I just say, Father, I put on the helmet of salvation. I thank you that I'm saved. And I know I'm saved that Jesus' blood paid for me say and he paid the price for all my sins and I say I put on the breastplate of righteousness father I thank you that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus no weapon formed against me prospers and every tongue that rises against me in judgment you condemn because this is my heritage my righteousness is of you and then I quote different scriptures as I put on each piece of the armor I look uh, those scriptures up and I have them memorized so my name is Robin Bremer and that's how you put on the whole armor of God and I hope it helped you and I hope I kept it short enough you can check out my website, uh, ribbonsclown.com, readmypeoplejoy.blogspot.com. Uh, um, and I'm Robin Bremer, out for today.